you anything you need Your sole provider Your satisfaction's guaranteed Check out my credentials I got all of your essentials I'm your provider You don't need nobody but me I'm your provider And there ain't nothing I can't get Your sole provider And you better not forget My reputation is outstanding in a market that's expanding. I'm your provider, you don't need nobody but me. Welcome to David Foster, LAC, MSTOM, NOTMD, the best show on TV. Because it's on TV. We are on TV, and tonight we're discussing one. Are doctors taking money from drug companies to push drugs on patients that don't need them? What? Doctors would never do that. That's ridiculous. They're here to help us. Do police officers break the law? Come on. Do cholesterol medications increase your risk for heart disease or decrease the risk for heart disease as they claim to? Or is it a situation like marijuana where like, you know, some people it makes them calm, other people it makes them anxious? We really don't know. Three. Is there such a thing as a chemical imbalance in your brain? Or is there such a thing as a brain without a chemical imbalance? I mean, like, what about right now? Like, what about, what about now? Like, what are, my, what are my dopamine levels? Like, right now. What are my dopamine levels right now? And finally, is there really such a thing as the Asian fetish? Is it urban legend? Or is it Eastern philosophy? We'll be back. <laughs> Yo, good? You right? I mean, I'm okay. I kinda have a headache though. So? You good then. Mad crazy extra strength to leave, my dude. You good. Shit is like 3,000 milligrams, yo. 3,000 milligrams? Is that even safe? Is that Come safe? On, yo, how this old are you, B? Yo. yo, what you want? Children's Tylenol? Flintstones kids, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're doctor, so then you know that leave. Isn't it bad for like your stomach? Only if you a bitch? You a bitch, nigga? Bitch ass, yes, nigga. No, I am not a bitch. Uh, but, so you're saying I shouldn't give it to my girlfriend? Ha <laughs> ha! Yo, he's funny, right? Yo, he got me. Yo, yo, you funny! You should be a comedian. Well, actually, Mad funny, nigga. You, you got insurance? Me. No, I don't have insurance. No, 50 bucks, you know? Yep. 50 bucks for just to leave? 3,000 milligrams, nigga. I don't even want this. Yo, you need anything else? You got acid oh. reflux, you got insomnia, you got restless leg syndrome, I got shit for all that, yo. My restless leg joints are crazy. Your leg might never move again, yo. You just be like, whack! Forever. Rest of your fucking life, nigga. Rest of your Is life. Thanks, doctors. Doubt. Yeah. Fuck you think I went to med school for? Help niggas. Yo, baby, I help niggas. I went to med school. What you need? You need that nip, that talk, that Botox. You can't stay fly forever, girl. Unless you fuck with the Botezies. <laughs> fuck with, with the, the tox. tox. Fuck with the tox. If you don't fix your, your face, face, then nobody wants your box. <laughs> that Botox, yo. I got you. Mm. Hey, doctors. Mr. Wilson, you're late, B. Your appointment was 2 o'clock. I know, I'm sorry, but it's an emergency. I'm having terrible stress. I cannot control my bowels. That's because you old, nigga. You old, you mad old, nigga. That's what goes down. Down and out. Yo, take his beef easy. Yo, Yo you still taking the Lipitor, right, son? What? Me? Yeah, you. No, that other nigga whose eyes I'm looking directly into right now. Yo, he getting dementia, yo. Probably losing mad cholinergic neurons right now. Yo, you still taking the Flomax? Yeah. No. Yes, I'm taking every day. Like you still taking the Avapro? Yes. You need that Avapro? Yes. Every single day? Yes. yes. Good for your arthritis. You got the Avapro, the Flomax, and the Lipitor. You taking them all, right? Yes. Uh, yo, Mr. Good. Mr. Wilson, your veins are pumping. Oh, shit, yo, yeah, let me hear, let me hear. Oh, Mr. Wilson got the hype shit. He got the hype shit. Mr. Wilson got the hype shit. <laughs> yeah. That's 125 over 80. Oh, you good. You healthy, Mr. Wilson. Really? Then why can't I still? Yo, boom. Pow. Ta -da! Oh, that is nasty. Yo, Mr. Wilson, take five of these pills with every meal, all right? If you feel like committing suicide, don't do that shit, all right? Cut it down to four pills and you'll be all right. You're good, man. You're good. Thank you, doctor. Yeah, word is born. Don't kill yourself. Last thing we need is malpractice going on. Who knows? We could have with Pfizer, yo. Oh, what's up, bitch? You got my money? Yo, Pfizer, yeah. that's a dope-ass hoodie. I want one of those, yo. Oh, shut the fuck up. Bro, it's dope. This shit feels light, B. You said a Lipitor today or what? Man, not really, Pfizer. It's mostly kids out here, you what know? You, so what you saying? Kids can't have high blood pressure, too? Yeah, I don't know. 
It's America, nigga. Everyone has high blood pressure. What about that symbol? That Xanax. You pump any of that yet? Not yet. I mean, I, I, I don't know. I just said, oh. Oh. You motherfuckers need to get on your grind. This is America, nigga. You should be pumping that antidepressant all up and down this block. You see any happy motherfuckers around here? No. She's a custy, he's a custy, that motherfucking dog's a custy. Y'all need to get on your shit. If not, you can start working in Canada, some free clinic or some shit. Now give me that fucking one. Mm. Yo, Sauce. Yo. You want some painkillers? I think doctors are pretty much drug dealers with college degrees. <laughs> doctors don't fix anybody's problems anymore. All they do is give you a new problem instead of your problem. <laughs> you go to the doctor like, hey man, I got migraines. Oh, take this migraine medication. Hope you don't mind diarrhea and see what's <laughs> on Kiss those migraines, goodbye. Muscle cramps. I saw the commercials. Ladies like, oh, my arm hurts. They were like, oh, take a like of it. And I swear to you, one of the side effects was suicidal thoughts. <laughs> suicidal thoughts for a cramp. <laughs> she got a cramp. I was like, I got an idea. Instead of like of it, why don't you try this once in a while? <laughs> you stretch out. Then you won't have to worry about pulling your brains out over a muscle cramp. <laughs> suicidal thoughts. Take like me, you gotta take like antidepressants, but one of the side effects of antidepressants is muscle cramps. <laughs> what do you do about that? You gotta do like every other day, right? Like, am I more sad today or am I more stiff? I don't know. I'm sort of sad that I'm stiff. Right? Gotta do both today, I think. He told me. <laughs> you don't take them. They're a trade off. You know, you're not depressed anymore, but then they make you crazy. You ever talk to somebody on this medication? They're like, yeah, I'm not sad anymore. <laughs> Dude, your dog just died. Like, I know, because I feel good all the time. <laughs> Always happy. Never get sad. I experience most of the human emotions. <laughs> Depression runs in my family. I'm like, well, when did this start? When did depression become a disease? I thought it was an emotion. Apparently, you're sad. Sadness runs in your family. Does happiness run in anybody's family? Does anybody like, man, my girlfriend left me. I lost my job. I just can't stop being happy, man. My mom was always happy. Her mom was always happy. Joy runs in our family. It's a disease. I can't take it. I wake up every morning and I just smile all day. Everybody at my job wants to punch me in my face. I think they suffer from anger. My cousin suffers from surprise. All day, every day. He's like, oh, oh! He's crazy. All of his birthday parties are surprise parties. We don't even have to hide or turn on the lights. We just show up. He's like, oh! You guys get me every year. Man. <laughs> you're sick, you suffer from surprise, you have a disease. I'm lucky, I've never had a lot of health problems, which works out well because I've never had a lot of health insurance. <laughs> when you don't have health insurance, you have really high standards for what makes you go to the hospital. <laughs> Some people are spoiled, they got health insurance, they go to the hospital for like any old reason. Like, ah, I'm gonna get severe chest pain, I'm going to the hospital. <laughs> I broke my leg, I'm going to the doctor. <laughs> Friggin' hypochondriac. <laughs> Not me, dude. One time I had an anxiety attack, it lasted three hours long. I wasn't sure if I was having an anxiety attack or like a brain aneurysm. I was really afraid that I was gonna die. <laughs> so I went to the hospital, but I didn't actually go inside. I just stood outside the door. <laughs> I was like, alright, if things get bad, then I'll go inside. <laughs> I'm not going in the hospital just because I think I might die. <laughs> I'm not gonna be a bitch about it. Man. You gotta be a warrior with no health insurance, dude. You're rolling the dice every day. What's gonna happen today? I don't know. 
I don't know if I'm going to be on this show. She did, and I'm still vote for him. <laughs> I'm really not going to vote for him, but that's just because I don't vote. I don't vote. I don't vote at all. I don't know. If you think your vote counts, like. <laughs> you're, uh, like you're voting. Got a chicken sandwich here. We're probably gonna eat half. You want some protein? Go with those veggies? Oh yeah, actually. Cool. Oh wait, it's okay. I'm off white bread. And where's the chicken from? Where's the chicken from? It's from an egg, you pussy. From the fries, bro? <laughs> I stopped eating fast food when I stopped getting excited to see Ronald McDonald. Maybe you will too. <laughs> I'm so mature. Health freak. Hey man, you want a beer? No, actually, I quit drinking. What? Why? It's getting really bad hangovers, and I feel like I have arthritis. Arthritis? Where in your pussy? What, man? Huh? What? You ever seen a guy? Huh? 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 What? What? You don't like a party? You don't like chicks? You don't like blow? Whatever, man. Fuck. Whatever, pussy. Hey, pussy. Whatever. Hey, can you hold this for me? I gotta light this spoon. Oh, sure I can. Sure I can, friend. I don't judge you. All right, thanks, man. Yeah. That's a real friend. Yeah, I know, a real friend right here. I help you out, man. I'm, I'm here. I'm, help, I'm here to help you, okay? I'm fun, easygoing, non judgmental, nice to people. Hey, you, you? you want a hit? What? No, I don't do heroin. <laughs> I want a pussy. Hey, man. We could steal that pussy's briefcase, sell whatever's in it, get some more smack. Some hookers, maybe shoot them, get some more hookers. What do you say? Uh, well, I'm not really like. Hey, are you crazy? Are you crazy? It's free money, no downside. Not for us? <sighs> All right, you're not crazy. You're just a pussy. Pussy? Yeah. You're a yeah. pussy. You're a hell freak. You're a hell freak. You're a pussy. You're a pussy, man. You're such a pussy. You're a puss. <laughs> you're a puss. You died from that? What a pussy. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, sales of antidepressants in 1986 was 500 million dollars. Sales of antidepressants in 2006 was 25 billion dollars. So apparently, depression is uh, contagious. I don't know. Careful who you make out with, especially at the local bar. What antidepressants do is they affect the body's metabolism of serotonin. We're only the brain is only supposed to get 10 percent of the body's serotonin. The other 90% goes to the genitals and the gastrointestinal tract. So if you take these drugs, you'll be in a great mood on the toilet, okay? <laughs> the good news is since your brain's chemicals are back in balance, you'll be the happiest person with uncontrollable diarrhea in the world. One ex-FDA official who handled Prozac's first safety review warned that six of nine depressed patients shortly after starting Prozac developed intense suicidal tendencies. And the doctors argued back. The doctors said, hey, you know, they were depressed. That's how depressed people think. It's like, dude, we get that. Like, we understand. But that's why he specified shortly after starting on Prozac. It's like, this is how medication works. You prescribe and you monitor. You know, it's like, you know, if an asthma patient, like, starts smoking cigarettes and then three weeks later develops a cough, nobody's like, oh, you know, hey, you know, the kid had asthma. He's got asthma. He's got asthma. That's fine. Yeah. Bad lungs. He's got bad lungs. That's why. Bad lungs. And then this is my favorite. D 
doctor's final rebuttal theory, they're saying, oh, well, antidepressants, you know, sometimes they energize the patient before lifting their spirits, thus enabling the patient to enact their despair through suicide. So by this rationale, one day they want to put the gun in their mouth, but they're just too tired. And then they take the drugs and they get that boost. Oh, now I can kill myself. Why can't they get the boost to, like, go exercise or, like, find a hobby that'll make them happy? Why can't they do that? I guess the point is, if you're depressed, don't drink coffee, definitely. Um, there is evidence that antidepressants also decrease pregnancy rates for women undergoing fertility treatment, which I think is the only good thing that it does. It's like you think you're qualified to raise and love and rear a child? Well, your psychotropic medication disagrees, bitch. We'll be right back. So, Jenny Templeton? It's Jimmy. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I'm Dr. Braz. Nice to meet you. Hi, how you doing? I'm a doctor, so I'm great. Well, you look pretty healthy, except for the sex change. <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, you know, I, I've just been having a little um, heartburn. Heartburn? Yeah. Oh, that's terrible. What do you got, like a little burning sensation around the heart? Yeah, that's uh. Pretty much exactly. Right. Right. Open your mouth. Wide. Uh, Wider. Uh, uh, yeah. <coughs> Looks okay. You got heartburn? Here you go. Take two of these six times a day. Call the office if you experience any fatigue, diarrhea, vomiting, dry mouth, dry eyes, dry urine, erectile dysfunction, or if you notice any hair growing on your elbows, like a lot, because that might mean you're turning into a werewolf, but that's very rare. And I wouldn't worry about it. We have a medication for it just in case. So. <sighs> All better. Anything else? How long do I have to take these for? The rest of your life, dude. You have a disease. Heartburn. Burning heart syndrome. It's genetic. It's in your DNA. You want me to cure it or you want to be sick? Well, no, I mean... I'm, I'm not your daddy, James. Thank God. I'm not anyone's daddy because all my ladies are pro-choice. Isn't that right, Nurse Vasquez? Right, Dr. Boss. You need some morning afters, buddy? No. Take them! Give them to your bitch every morning. She says no, drop her! It means she wants a family, and there's no money in family, James. They just suck you dry, and it sucks! So when Dr. Boz gets lucky, I just slip a little Plan B or a morning cup of joe. Everybody wins. Is that legal? Nurse, let's take his blood pressure. Dr. Boz is a little cold. No. Suit yourself. Nurse! 130 over 80. Through the roof! Pulse feels kind of rapid. What are you... Hyperthyroid? Hypertension? Graves disease? Oh, I don't know what that is. You got Hashimoto's? Maybe I'm a little nervous. You know, maybe you're freaking me out. Oh, you suffer from anxiety. That's genetic too. Parents had it? Grandparents? No, not, no. Neighbor? No. Baseball coach? I never played sports. Generalized anxiety disorder. GAD. You got it. You probably got it all. OCD, PTSD, maybe with an underlying BET. You part black? No. No? No. Not half row American? No. One quarter? One eighth black? I'm not at all black. It's somewhere in the lineage. Nurse, this patient may have a latent case of sickle cell anemia. We're gonna have to do a really quick bone marrow transplant. No, no. Sit, down. Down. Sit down, man. You're having another one of your anxiety attacks. Right? Take these pills. No. They'll help you calm down. No. Take them. No. Take them. No. Ah. Resistant to medication syndrome, RMS. Classic. No. Now we can get to work. Save this patient's life. Nurse. Yes, Dr. Scalpel. Tuning fork. Handsaw. Sickle cell anemia has to be taken very seriously, James. It's an autosomal recessive blood disorder. As a result of the mutation in your hemoglobin gene, it makes your red blood cells look retarded. So we gotta nip it in the bud. Now, James. In addition to the pills I gave you, I want to take three of these 14 times a day, okay? And apply this cream over the infected area in your abdomen where we made the incision. It may burn a little bit later, it might sting, nothing to be worried about. You may notice a hot, bubbly sensation around your kidneys. It's all part of the healing process. All right, I'll see you back here in two weeks, all right, buddy? Nurse, I'm gonna schedule them two weeks from now, inpatient, full vasectomy. Great meeting you, buddy, take care. My heart burns. All right, guys, we're here on the streets talking to New Yorkers about their health and well-being. Are you a relatively health-conscious person? Yes. Not really. Not really at all? How old are you? 17. 17? So do you care about, like, health stuff at all? Yeah, I do. You do? Do you take any medication? Um, 
That's a good question. I'm toxic free. I'm no hormone, no antibiotics. I mean, you've been health conscious for a month now? Uh, like six months. Six months? Now what about, what about fat? Do you eat a lot of fat? I try not to. Do you know that fat's good for you? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't know, but I think, you know, from what they say, I kind of, you know, kind of, it's like good and bad and everything. I smoke cigarettes. So. You smoke cigarettes? Yeah, but that's not, cigarettes aren't really, I mean, cigarettes are demonized way too much. In our, what kind of cigarettes do you smoke? Report 100. Okay, yeah, they're bad for you. Those are bad, yeah. I don't eat breakfast. You don't eat breakfast? <laughs> Did you know that that's not healthy? It all depends on what you put in your system, like, because I had a friend that was a vegan that only ate bagels and french fries, and he, was, he looked horrible, and he felt horrible all the time. Do you think, do you think like, vegetarianism is healthy? Yeah, no. Yeah, no? Why no? You need to have some meat. You need to have meat, right? Because you don't get enough vitamin A, D, E, K, iron, and that's why vegetarians look terrible. But when I'm eating my fruits, my vegetables and stuff like that, it all comes out, you know, pretty well, like in an S or apostrophe, you know, my, my, you know, my bowel movement. You heard it here. We'll be right back. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, and now for the fun facts of the day. <laughs> Apparently the aging process is slower even after death these days. Studies show that corpses don't decompose as fast as they did 50 years ago because of all of the chemicals and additives in modern food. So that's good. We stay looking young in the ground. That's good. <laughs> people who have never been married are seven and a half times more likely than married people to be admitted to a psychiatric facility. So tie that knot. But Married people are 100% more likely to be murdered by their spouse. Just watch Dateline NBC, bro. <laughs> There's now a new disease labeled in the latest DSM as caffeine-induced sleep disorder. This is when overconsumption of caffeine causes poor sleep. <laughs> the next DSM is expected to begin studies on Big Mac-induced obesity disorder and no food-induced hunger disorder. That's obviously going to be next. <laughs> And finally, a passionate kiss burns 6.4 calories per minute for both parties. Which means, ladies, the best way to lose weight is not through diet and exercise, but through a good 15-minute blowjob. Just don't swallow. Ladies and gentlemen, that's been David Foster, LAC, M-S-T-O-M, N-O-T-M-D. That's me. We're out. Have a great week. Be well.